Hey, girlfriend. Hi, nothing fancy. Beautiful day to be testing knives. I'm up here are my stomping grounds, the great Rocky Mountains in the western U.S. About 9,000 feet elevation in a stand of quaking aspens. Beautiful, beautiful stand of quaking aspens. You can see how the, the leaves have changed color. They're green going to yellow. Soon they'll be orange and dropping off and winter time will be here. That's my good companion, Allie the Mountain Dog. We've hiked uh, not too far, about three miles in, but it was pretty much straight up, pretty hard hike. Why are we here? Well, several reasons. One, we're going to do a ch chopping test on the Ontario Marine Raider knife on this here tree. This tree, I don't know, probably about five inches in diameter. It's not super big. Be a good chopping test. Let's get to it. Bear with me as I clip the camera back into the tripod and square it away. For review, the Marine Raider, I think, is a very high value. Nice survival knife, nicely balanced. I'm very impressed with it. I have a tabletop review out there of it. You can check it out. And hopefully I'll be able to get all this in picture. Now, of course, there's a lot more things we do with our survival knives besides chop wood. But it's such a great test of a blade to chop down a small tree. That's why you see me doing it. And you guys seem to be digging it, so that's another reason why. Little WD-40 on the blade never hurts. Helps lubricate it. And it helps uh, protect that edge. Kind of a rainy day here. It's been raining off and on. I want the tree to fall that way, so I'm going to go ahead and notch it right here. And let me see if I can see that. There you go. Notice I move my hand out of the way when it's time to chop. Like this direction, my hand was here, hand gets out of the way. Can you see that in frame? Come up here, just like I said before, kind of in a beaver fashion as I notch around the tree. Good chopper, the Marine Raider. I'm liking it. Let me angle this up just a little bit. So, there we go. Now a tree this small would be easy at some point just to go ahead and push it over. But we're testing chopping performance. That's why I ain't doing it. Actually, I take it back. This tree is about eight inches oblong this way. So it's a little bit wider than it looks. Sorry if I'm in the way. I'm digging it. I think it would have chopped better if I reprofiled it, which I will do with the, I think this is SP-10, right? The Marine Raider. I'll reprofile it. It'll chop even better. See, I'm using that two hands. That's another reason I like a longer handle. Not that this handle's that long. I wish it was longer. But a longer handle on Survival Knife is very beneficial for that reason. Safety check. I better push it over because it's... I have a top of the tree that's leaning towards me, and I don't want it to go that way. I want it to go that way. 
All right, Marine Raider, SP-10. What does nothing fancy think about it? I'm a big fan. It chops just like I thought it would. It's an outstanding chopper. Outstanding survival knife all the way around. And, you know, does it have stress cracks in the handle somewhere where one day it's going to break on me? I don't know. Above around 50 bucks, 45 bucks. That's a lot of chopping performance. And again, while I usually will say that if you have a 1095 Survival Blade Makers, you better price it, price it competitively because this is your competition. Nothing fancy in the quaking aspens of the Rocky Mountains with my good friend Allie standing guard behind me over and out.